the first Revolution Day celebration since President Raul Castro called on Cuba's youth to be more active in the country's 53-year-long socialist revolution. This year, the country's 80-year-old vice president followed up with this message. The mentality of inertia, of waiting for something to come down from above, must definitely be broken. Cuba marks Revolution Day every year on the 26th of July, and in the past, the government has used the occasion to make major policy announcements. This year, however, there was no further detail on how the government might rejuvenate its leadership or directly help young people to overcome the inertia that Machado mentioned. The youngest of Cuba's top three government officials is 79, and many of the Communist Party's Politburo members are around that age. They have led this entire revolution. We young people now must follow. We're learning from them, and in a few years, you're going to see young faces in the leadership. On the streets of Havana, young people say the time for that is now. They have to give us the opportunity because everyone is getting old now. A country that ages but doesn't give opportunity to the youth will not prosper or develop. We have to inject some renovation, new blood. And we the young people need to get more opportunity. We're going to move forward. The last Communist Party Congress in April did approve plans for some major reforms, such as term limits for politicians and measures meant to spur economic activity, for example, allowing real estate to be bought and sold and new licenses for private businesses. These are all things that Cuba's ready and eager youth say they will take advantage of as soon as they happen. Craig Morrow, Al Jazeera, Havana. In Bolivia, 10 people have been injured during a police operation to evict 150 families from their homes near Santa Cruz. 400 officers took part in the raid. Authorities say they were just removing squatters. The families say they were paying rent and insist the police have no right to evict them. Enough food to feed 3,500 children for a month has arrived in Somalia, but that's less than 1% of Somalis facing starvation right now. Wednesday's shipment is the first in a series of UN aid flights for the country. Last week, a famine was declared in two 